In this lesson, we're going to continue talking about ratios and proportions and work to see, can I prove if a proportion actually is true? Is the ratio equal on one side as it is on the other? If you remember, a ratio is a comparison between two items. First item being compared to the second item. In this case, two boys compared to three girls. So imagine that's a ratio you have in a small group and you want to keep that ratio but you want a bigger group. For every two boys, you need three girls to be in that group. So a ratio is two items compared. If I go to make a proportion, I have a ratio compared to a ratio. Is this ratio equal to this ratio? So I took my ratio 2B compared to 3G, 2B over 3G. I could have flipped it if I wanted to. So what I want to do is make another ratio and see if it's equal. So for every two, there's three. For every two, there's three. You can think about it in terms of fractions. Let's just pick a bigger fraction that's equal to that. What if I times by seven times by seven would give me 14 over 21? For seven groups of two, give me 14 boys. Seven groups of three, 21 girls. So I'll put 14 here. I will include the label for now. Labels need to match going across. B on top, B on top. 21 on bottom, 21. So now we know these work. We know this ratio is equal to this ratio, but there's an easier way to figure this out. What if I have a ratio I don't know? It's called the idea of cross products. This is a property in algebra that allows me to multiply diagonally downward, which would look like this. Downward, multiply, downward, multiply. And then check if it's equal. So what I do is simply this. Multiply diagonally, multiply diagonally. Two times 21 is 42. Is that equal to 14 times 3? I'm pretty sure it probably is. Let's double check. 14 times 3 is 12 and 42. Put a box around it. And I prove that, yes, this ratio is equal to this ratio. Done. Nothing else to do. 42 is equal to 42. Let's take a look if these ratios are equal. I have 2 to 3 boys to girls. I'm going to take out the labels because we've worked with it. We know what they are. So let's check. Let's multiply diagonally using cross products. 7 times 3 is 21. 2 times 11 is 22. Are these equal? No, they're not. So does 7 over 11 count as an equal ratio? Question mark. The answer is no, it doesn't. How do I show this? Algebraically, or algebra, is 21 equal to 22? No, it is not. How do I show no equal? Put a line through it. This is the not equal to sign. Put a box around it, and I'm done. So yes, we need to put a line through it if it is not equal. If you would have left it 21 equal 22, that's a false statement. I would look at you and say, really? Is 21 equal to 22? No. Put a line through the equal sign because this is a symbol you'll see throughout high school. Not equal. Let's check one more. 2 to 3, same ratio. 18 to 27. Multiply diagonally. 2 times 27, 20 doubled is 40. 7 doubles, 14. So that's 54. 18 times 3. 30 plus 24 is also 54. Equal. So 18 over 27 is the same. Now, some of you will say, Mr. Long, I, I see what you're doing, but couldn't I have just multiplied by 9? Couldn't I have just multiplied by 9? The answer is yes, you can, but it doesn't always work that way. For instance, if I had 2 over 3 and you have a 5 down here, okay, what are you going to multiply 3 by to get 5? That'd be the question. So for our work, we're going to multiply diagonally. We're going to use cross products. Multiply down. If they're equal, it works. This ratio is equal to this ratio. If it's not equal, put a line through it. Not equal. This is proving if a proportion is true.